maybe years prior to the actual initiation of whatever project <coughs> or endeavor, and uh, but eventually it just takes root, and the idea becomes bigger and bigger, right. and yeah. it stays in your head longer over time, and so eventually that I was kind of going through that process, and I considered starting a podcast before, and uh, but it was just like in the in that like vault of just all the shit I want to do someday yeah. <laughs> if I ever get the chance but uh and then yeah so it all just kind of <laughs> hit a climax during the LSD trip and I was like okay I have to do this now mm-hmm. and um music was always that thing for me too yeah. um but for whatever reason it's uh not been where my heart is lately I can't explain Likewise, why in the same exact place yeah right it's now. um I've tried. I, I started. A, I tried to start a band as soon as I got back, even with Al and Anton and Joe, and yeah. tried playing. Uh, <laughs> I hope that <laughs> <laughs> dream team. Yeah, we, was, basically, we barely, we, barely uh, we, we we jam. We just we every time we rehearsed, we would just jam. Yeah, it was fun. It was it was most fun I had in a while. Yeah, but we would just you know we would just literally improvise and just like yeah. on the spot jam, and it was great. But you know that's it's hard to keep it. Well, well, that's what I mean. Direction, like, I guess, so. pretty much. Yeah. Like, like Taryn yeah. was saying, like, uh, one of the logistical issues we had was uh, Taryn and Joe's work schedules mm-hmm. completely opposite. I'm pretty much working almost every day. Well, that too. You know I mean? That it's too. So obviously, yeah. and you're pretty drained from roofing and everything. But yeah, like, that makes everything hard. Exactly. So, but anyway, yeah, like you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's, it's more than that too, like, though. Because stammer, stammer, stammer. I felt so bad because I, I was talking so so big about it too. It was like I want to start like the band. I'm yeah, like, this is gonna yeah. be the band. <laughs> yeah. But uh, and I just found myself not practicing, you know. And mm. I felt like, damn, I used to not be able to stop myself from from yeah. doing this. It was just such a strong. I used to miss <laughs> meals, like totally many of them. <laughs> I would because I would I'd, do like, anything. Just for forget music. to eat because of playing so much, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Absolutely. So that was what my main outlet was for a long time. But music was never the only thing. Like I had, I, I had <coughs> so many interests growing up, learning how to downhill mountain bike and snowboard and yeah. and uh, sports and music was a part of all those things. And uh, for whatever reason, it just really took hold of me when I was in my teens. And but it's like it's it's like uh, it's like an old sweater I took off or something. It just kind of fell off of me or something. Yeah. And uh, it's not that I don't love music any less than I did before. It just seems to be not where I'm being pulled to. And, mm. and for whatever reason, this seems to be what I'm willing to put time into. Yeah. And so... Uh, There's similarities. To, there are similarities. Yeah, and sure. it is a creative outlet. Yeah. And um, it's something I can do on my own, too, potentially. I don't need to, like, go to a jam space with, and range five other guys. I mean, I do have to Shit, range people. Gear. <laughs> yeah, get the gear there, get... Yeah. It's uh, logistically easier to podcast, and I plan to eventually get some real legit mics and yeah. video feed and mm-hmm. just do it all as 100% as I can. But I think there's something to be said for not being too attached to any uh, idea about oneself. I mean, it's mm-hmm. all well and good to pursue something to the bitter end forever mm-hmm. if your heart is into it, you know, in that way. But it's also hard because your heart isn't going to be consistently into it. There are going to be moments with anything that feels like, you know, almost hell. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, you got to be willing to go through that too. But so I gave myself time with music and with this and stuff to like really let it settle in my head and not make any rash moves or anything. But, uh, yeah, I guess overall it just kind of felt like where I was more naturally pulled to do, I guess that's probably the short, simplest answer yeah. for a pretty long rant. But. It's hard to just, um, like, in a way, like, I'd be kind of lying to say that, like, music was, like, my number one thing for so long. Like, it was for a part of my life, and then in, like, in a, in a very formative part of my life, mm-hmm. where, like, I was, like, learning, like, how to be a person, and learning, like, mm-hmm. what that means, and, like, my place in the world, like... I really didn't need to do all that sometimes because I was like, I'm a musician. This is who I am. And it's simpler. Yeah, like the, oh, this is I I know who I am. I don't need to figure out all this other stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so like, <clears throat> after a while, it that becomes who you are. That's how people relate to you, and that's how people see you. Like, mm-hmm. um, like when I was just home for Christmas, like, how many times did I get the question of like, you know, 
oh Glenn like what are you what are you doing for music now then like and I'm just like totally. well, maybe nothing like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right but it was like actually like coming to terms with that myself like I still I'm still not there yet I, like mm-hmm. still feel like I'm not done with music but actually like sitting down one day and being like man like like Oceanic's gotten as far in this form as it's gonna be, you know what's next? And like actually like coming to terms with the possibility that something could be next. So it's like this is weird. It feels wrong. It feels like I'm cheating myself. But then I had this like moment where I was like, no man, like this is awesome. Mm-hmm. The fact that I I've done music, I can I still have the option to do it. But I can do something else too. Like I can take on another part, like part of myself. Totally, man. I think it's great. I think it's like a real, full-blown human being. It's probably a really broad, multifaceted being yeah. in some way. It's a. Uh, and and what you speak about too, going through that transitionary phase of maybe something that was dominating the the life for a while, and it's, and it ceases to be like that. It's like symbolically represented as something like the phoenix burning and being reborn, you know? It's like this part of you that just burns away and dies and then you come back out better than you were before at the yeah. end of it or something. It's not to say that you... I mean, it's easy to misconstrue things when you take them from these different levels of like a broad, symbolic uh, representation of something versus the specific content of, oh, I'm moving away from something like music or something. Yeah. It's not to make a case that we should move away from things we're passionate about, but it's like a natural process in life that kind of like that process of transformation. Mm-hmm. And uh, and yeah, it's it's liberating. And so it's like you have had all those experiences. You know what it's like to play shows. You know what it's like to have people like yeah. dance into your music and shit. And mm-hmm. you know what it's like to have people come up and shake your hand, say that was an amazing performance. Yeah. You changed my life. Even sometimes yeah, I hear that. It was honestly, like I I could do different things with music, but it'll never be greater than that. Mm. Yeah, not to say okay we've done that fuck that it's over with yeah. it's not what's going on but like there's really nothing greater in music than like than having that moment like than sharing that moment with people and just being, yeah. a, being able to like be a part of something so special that getting those compliments and those comments of just when you understand people are on the same page with you musically and like understand what you're doing because it's really hard to, t- to, to do something different like Mm. and then take it so seriously that you're just like I'm going to put my entire life into this and yeah. like I'm going to move to a, a new city and this is you know everybody I know is going to be because of this thing you know that's exactly it yeah, yeah. It's, it's I pretty, find it pretty hard to thing to do yeah I feel like um, all the different things I'm interested in are like just they, they all contribute some different but yeah it feels like a vital part to who I am or who I'm turning into or whatever because mm. you're not really a static object you know you're not I am blank it's like I am this turning into who knows what yeah um and sometimes it's, it, and you see it everywhere it's hard because sometimes sometimes I have a problem when I'm reading say yoga literature and it's written by yoga practitioners who think that yoga is the answer to everything exactly, you know yeah. and it's not yeah. correct it's not a good way to think about anything because yeah. for me yoga is uh I love it I think it could help a lot of people if they tried it, mm-hmm. but so would cold showers and so would working out in general or eating yeah. better. It's yeah. part of all these different things. And for me, yoga is just something that helps me do all these other things better. I think the idea is to make you more capable, mm-hmm. not just at doing yoga, but at everything else you do in your life. That's like the whole idea. Yeah. But uh, it's easy to get, you know, sold on, on one deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, I start to realize a, a, a shift from, like, I was really into guitar, really loved music, and then all of a sudden, I'm a musician, and that took on its own entity, mm. you know, there was a bit more of, um, <clears throat> like, your your purpose, and your personality, and like that, and, and what you're doing with music, and, you know having a band and working the whole like business side of music and marketing and all that kind of stuff and like start like like music was a a vehicle for me and it was a way for me to like identify not just identify with myself like as a person but identify with certain parts of me like emotionally and then but I started to realize that as time went on 
music was a vehicle for me being a musician and trying and, and trying to be successful as a musician mm-hmm. and it started it started to stir. it stopped um, being a vehicle for myself right. and, and, and then it was just kind of like but the, every now and then you'd have this like awesome improvisation or we'd like we'd just be three of us down in the basement writing this amazing stuff and it would be like man this is so cool and you'd like forget about all that and it's just like no this is why we're doing it man like or you yeah. play a show you're like this is why we're doing it but mm-hmm. all the in between stuff is like uh, yeah it's, I know, I it's exactly what I'm doing with brewing again mm-hmm. <laughs> right? yeah it's just it's the nature of the beast oh, I think nature that, of being I, human yeah I think a lot of it too is like uh, you know like like you, the old cliche, like oh you you know I want to walk to make it in show business, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like they don't they're not talking about like literal luck. They literally mean like the luck, you know, like the the circumstance, you know, like you know, like look where we are in the world. <laughs> like yeah. it's a bad place to tour. <laughs> yeah, quite frankly, yeah, it is. It's, it's better than a rack I'd have to imagine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of thinking that. <laughs> well, that's that's the other old it's, cliche. It's like everyone, everyone in, on the east coast of Canada is like, oh, if only we were in Montreal, Toronto, and then everyone in Montreal, Toronto is like, oh, if only we were in New York City or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh man, you I can do I, that. You can do that to the end of time. Yeah, I lived in Port Saunders, <laughs> small town, and Even I was later. like, yeah, yeah. and. Um, <clears throat> my parents actually gave me and my sister a little bit of the decision if we wanted to uh, relocate Cornerbrook. And I was just like, yeah, man. But that was a good decision, basically, because, I mean, there's nobody playing prog rock. I didn't even know what prog rock was, but I was yeah. playing it. But there's nobody playing it, like, in Port Saunders. <laughs> so it made sense to move to Cornerbrook. <clears throat> a larger uh, population. But, yeah, like, everybody there was just like, oh, man, like, the place to be is Halifax. And then when I got here, it was just like, <laughs> no, man, the place to be is Toronto. And at that point, like, when people say that, I just feel like fucking smacking on them. Just like, <laughs> sure. like yeah. that mentality is going to be there when you move to Toronto. Exactly. You are the problem. Yes. Right? Yeah, totally. I, I, I agree, and I also slightly disagree just because Toronto does have yeah, more yeah. available For if you sure, are willing yeah. to put that work in, yeah. but... I see Halifax as valuable too because um, well okay if you're not a successful band in Halifax living in Halifax it's definitely your fault because mm-hmm. you can make that happen mm-hmm. and it's you're not going to be successful in Toronto that's for fucking mm-hmm. sure it depends so, how many defines the success well for sure yeah right? exactly yeah. So success not in perhaps the genuine sense where it's the sheer partaking in of the activity, right. mm-hmm. but success in a monetary fan based. Of course, thing. yeah, which is a reality. Yeah, mm-hmm. keep sure. a band going. Sometimes these things are required. So. Definitely, well, <coughs> it, it makes such a huge difference when people are willing to pay to see you and buy your merch. Yeah, you know, it just keeps the machine running because yeah. otherwise, musicians are putting all of their own money into everything they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, I mean. So, what, you can't make that happen in Halifax? Do you think you're going to make it happen in Toronto? Are you out of your fucking yeah, mind? Exactly. Toronto's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fucked. So, I could see it being val- valid for a band that's really killing it in Halifax and selling mm-hmm. out shows. And yeah. maybe not even selling them out because it's hard for anyone to sell shows. Yeah. But, uh, you know, then take a, an already well oiled machine to a city like Montreal, Toronto, it probably would yield success. But yeah, even yeah. then, you hear all the time of bands like making that migration and it falling apart or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's hard to keep a band together. Yeah. I, I was saying to, uh, uh, well, basically, what was it? Right. I, I, I had asked Joe if he wanted to, like, you know, because Taryn was like, ah, I'm, I'm stepping out. I was like, oh, okay, cool. But, Joe, like, I, I was I was going to ask Joe if he wanted to, like, you know, like, make a little cool, weird, fusion-y trio thing with Al uh, since Taryn was leaving. And, you know... He's pretty. He pretty much did the same thing, and I was like, "Well, all right." <laughs> <laughs> but I want to play it. music, though. Yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. it comes uh, back to that, right? Like, yeah. yeah. What happened to just playing guitar? Mm. You know, it's kind of that it has a certain amount of sadness to it, in, in that sense that you take something so far that it, like takes you from the real reason why you, why you do something. Like, you know? Oh yeah, well, you think about the experience you have with your first few sick jams you're having in someone's basement or garage in high school yeah. and then mm-hmm. next thing you know it's years down the road and you've basically done everything short of sell out a stadium or something and mm-hmm. and uh, 
but you know, you get in a fight with your girlfriend, you're trying to